Bobby. Hey, how you doing? What's happening, buddy? Uh, Bobby doesn't want to be on film, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> no, <don't> go. <laughs> Bobby's the owner, so uh, we're going to slide open some cases and just go buy some old stuff, guys, and check it out. Uh, what do we got here? A sumo. Some of the stuffs uh, higher end. Some of the stuff isn't. Some of the stuff used to be high end, but it's always fun checking out and seeing what's new and what you can take home and try. Some old NAD. Okay, let's go to this side. Let's see what we got here. Old phono stage preamp. Wanna well, check that out. 2220B Marantz. It's just a crapshoot. You come in here weekly and there's all kinds of vintage stuff hanging out in here. Old Luxman stuff there. Check it out. NAD Master Series. Hey. Some old Bryston and Lazarus. Okay, that's case one. Let's check out case two over here. California Audio Labs. What's this here? Crescendo. Ah, oh dear. There's a cool piece. Conrad Johnson. Oh, hell. Might need to take that home and try that today. <laughs> Old CD player. I know. I, that's okay. You know, I don't want to be a superstar. That's why I want to. Be <laughs> you don't want to be a superstar. <laughs> When the day ends, I want to disappear and don't know anything about stereos. <laughs> Been doing this thing too long. <laughs> right? How many years have you had this place now? Uh, 30 years. 30 years he's been in business here, guys. We parent stuff. I bought many old pieces from him. Macintosh preamps from the 80s and CD players, you name it. But every day there's something new in here to come check out. That's a nice piece, a counterpoint. Do you, do you, sh oh, he's already gone. I was going to ask him a question, but he already vanished. What's this? Creek? Oh yeah. Creek uh, CD player. Old Yamaha amplifier. There's a nice piece. Lin. Akemi? Is that how you pronounce it? Akemi? Akemi? Old HD CD decoding. Old Toshiba player. Ah, remember that guys? Proceed. <laughs> that was uh, the must have back in the day, wasn't it? On to, on to the next case. Oh, Bobby, we're locked over here on the on these. Locked. Yep. While he's unlocking those. Thank you, sir. While he's doing that, I'm going to show you guys some stuff up here too. He, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. I think are the other two open, Bobby? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Old NAD amplifier. Damn it. it goes all the way up to the ceiling, guys. God, is that a, a what? Nakamichi? Oh, look at that. How you doing? Oh, nice CA7 no, 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 amplifier. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. There it is, I Nakamichi. Appreciate that you guys, okay? Yeah, alright. I'll be back. Alright, no problem. Appreciate it. You got the, uh, the old Sansui? I got the old Sansui with the wheels for wheels. What model is that? The Sansui, uh, in, in, is that a receiver? Old receiver, amplifier? The 9090 Sansui, we're going to show you guys. What was the offer you got on that? The price at one point? Somebody wanted to buy it for how much? I'm just talking about the big one. Yeah. That's the G33000. Oh, the G33000. Remember that, guys? The Sunfire Cinema Grand. Bob Carver, that was it. Legacy. It's like a box of chocolates. You never, you never know what you're gonna get in here. Hey, there's the Proceed amplifier to match the uh, preamp over there we just saw. There you go, an old Anthem amplifier. That's a uh, A5, that's a nice piece. Very nice piece. Is that an 
Aragon? Oh, check this out, guys. An old Aragon. Stage one. This has been in here a while. This is a Chinese piece. Shangya Integrated Stereo Amplifier. Class A. Oh, Macintosh piece. MCD 7010. Some old vintage receiver again. Oh, what do we got here? Nice tubes, Bobby. Antique Sound Lab, nice, wow. It's an American company, somewhere in the east, I think. Wow, these are consignments, somebody brought them in? Yeah. Nice. Rotel amplifier. You guys pump it in, no? Okay. Uh, looks like this one's locked too, and so is this one. Huh? Okay, so while that's being unlocked, guys, I'm gonna show you what we got in here. So he, he has, uh, speakers that come in too. Are these Sonus Fobbers? Yes, they are. Oh, uh, what model? Uh, I believe it's called the Grand Piano. These are the Grand Pianos. These are the smaller ones. Huh? These aren't the Domus. These are the, probably the Grand Piano Home. Yeah, Grand Piano Home. Yeah. Grand Piano Home. Wow, I want to take those home. <laughs> I, I, I would actually trade you my, or sell my uh, Vendor S's for an old set of the Grand Piano Domus. I always wanted those. I think it was 1996 they came out. Okay guys, sorry for the lighting, but uh, he also has a lot of vintage speakers. Some Cantons, uh, some Polk Audio. Eh? Uh, look at that, some Ushers, old Ushers. Cool. Look at all this. Okay, so back to the other cabinet. <laughs> Thank you for unlocking that. Yeah. Vintage, vintage. Oh, there's a nice pair of sound set up. No two channel. There you go. Ah, Randy was telling me about this Mark Levinson. The Mark Levinson amp, very nice. Ooh, a Meridian piece, 506 CD player. Wow. You should have shown the uh, here. I'm gonna show you some nice uh, uh, you know, uh, He wants to show something. Let's go over here real quick, guys. Yeah. That one right over there. Which one? The thorns in the back. Right, right behind. Oh, oh that. that? Check this out, guys. TD, was it 124? That's the 124, yep. Highly collectible unit, right there. Yeah, I've got that 145, TD 145 at home, my hot rod. This one is 1961. 1961. Check it out, guys. Wow. Sweet. Everybody wants that. Is that is that playing right now? That. The real, the real? Yeah. Yeah. The TAC is playing that. Wow, that's a no, that's a more modern jazz piece. I've got that CD at home. Okay, where were we, guys? Okay, here we go. Nice. Ooh, Legacy. Wow, really nice, Bobby. Man. Wow, some Carver stuff. So if you guys come to Las Vegas, audio expert. I'm gonna grab some vintage stuff from Bobby. An old ad comp piece. This is gonna be a fun case here. Let me scoop this over. Whoa, check this out, guys. An MA6100 preamp amplifier. This is probably stuff your dad's ha owned. Oh, MX132. Marantz integrated. Oh, receiver. <clears throat> What's this piece? Audio expert may help you. Vacuum tube. Ooh, spark. Uh, it depends on what uh, kind of problem you have. There you go, an 
old Macintosh piece again. Okay, let me get this last cabinet over here moved for you guys. That's a bell canto piece. Another Macintosh. What's this? Tube drive technology. Yeah. Huh. Well, so what is it? It's just a jack that's broken. Twenty-one twenty Macintosh. Okay. So, so like, like five speakers, just two speakers. Okay. Let me get the model. Sunfire amplifier. Here. Look at that. So the mover dropped it. Is that what you think? See, guys. So old to new. Old to new. Are you looking at the subwoofer itself right now? Yeah, uh, right behind where all the writings are at, you know, uh, normally it's like that. This is this off name of the uh, subwoofer. It's a nice McCormick. How big is this subwoofer? <laughs> Speakers stacked up all over the place, guys. 10 by 10. So, so right now, uh, what, the power supply, you say, what, what broke out of here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so it's broken. Oh, it's great. Subwoofers. <laughs> Look at this place. So I'm just gonna give you a quick scan over here. This is some of the older stuff. Skull B and K stuff there. The old Parasound. See a brand on that. Interesting. A lot of this stuff is just really, you know, VCRs and receiver, old receivers and old B and K reference 20s and reference 30s. You know, goes all the way to the floor. Look at this. It's hard to film here, guys, because I'm going to have to come around the other way. <laughs> so, uh, that, you, you have to replace the whole thing. Speakers everywhere, stuff, stuff everywhere. I, I don't think it's a big deal, but the parts is a, uh, the, the situation that we're going to deal with. So, um, let me see there. Look at that. Most of the stuff in our store. The, uh, it's another B&K amplifier. Very nice. Old line conditioner, monster <laughs> power. Yeah, it is. The, you know, the worst comes to worst. Um, if, let's say, if that parts, because sometimes these clips, somebody made this for them and they just you know, put their name on it and they just let you know that. They, like, they have to the worst comes to worst, we might have to just extend a wire from there to out. You know what I mean? And then you and then you just attach the uh, the, the wire to it. You know, via the, uh, the wire nuts and some of that. Old you know, crown amp. Uh, there's right as as long yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm going to try to get that part. If I can't, and what we have to do is just uh, solder a wire what, what, uh, straight out where the broken part is. Okay, so you can have access to uh, to put a speaker wire to make contact with that. You see what I'm talking about? So I mean, that's the, probably the best way to do it. So if we, if we can't get that part. So yeah, why don't you bring it by and I'll take a look at it. Uh, I go from there. Okay. That's the beast I was telling you guys about. Look at that. Uh, we are on the G second part of town, southeast of Charleston and east. Thousand. Yeah. I think that's probably the best and fastest efficient way. Just extend a wire out and then put a clip so you can clip your wire into it. Okay? Alright? What's that? Yeah, I'll do that for you. Just come talk to me. Okay? Alright? Bye. Bye. Got all this stuff, guys. My goodness. So now we can go take a look 
in the back, we can see what these guys are up to. So they actually have a car audio section and also a repair center in the back. Oh, actually, we no longer do car stairs. Well, the car's out. Oh, car's... yeah, I've been out for like uh, two, three years now. Oh, man, I haven't been back here in that it's long. Just, now it's just storage? Yeah, it's just storage now, yeah. These are just uh, storage. What, right? what are those speakers right there? Those look like... No more car stairs. What are those speakers, Bobby? Are... High -end home audio. What's that? are those speakers the next ones from my house right there? What is this? <laughs> are they a customer's repair? Which one are you talking about? Straightforward? Yeah. Oh, okay, that one, uh, that's the Bang & Olsen printer. Bang & Olsen. And it's funny, I was just watching um, uh, uh, Mr. JWW in his uh, in England. He just set up his car detailing, his auto car detailing. He's got uh, did the Bang & Olsen uh, against the Ferrari exhaust. I love his channel. All the guys, Seen Through Glass and Supercars of London and, you know, all those guys. I, I like following them. But he just did something on the Bang & Olsen. So that you, this whole thing used to be a car audio, but it's gone now. So, is it okay to come back there, Bobby, and <laughs> film there real quick? This is this is where the, the bench test, this is where he tests everything. Right here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You can look at the service department real quick here. This is the service Good department, part guys. Bench. Check out all this cool stuff. I mean, geek out here with the, with the uh, engineers, the technical guys, love this stuff. Look at all our tests. All that test equipment. How's it going? All right. What's going on there? Tony, what's up? This place is always slammed for repairs, guys, but they do great work. I had a meter go out in my uh, in my Macintosh integrated, and they replaced the meters for me under warranty. What do you guys think? Has he got enough equipment here? Wow, look at this. Repairing all kinds of stuff today. Subwoofers, turntables. That's Tony. <laughs> so this is all the stuff that they've repaired and that they actually have customers coming to pick up. Look how busy they are. Old stuff, man. Old cool stuff. They got. Love it. Chance to come in here and see the old and the new. Look at all this stuff. That I think used to be mine. That's a reference 50 S2. I had an issue with the board going out in it, or the uh, chip set. Bobby tried to put a new power supply in there, but unfortunately you can't buy the chips when they go bad is, anymore. Is it still there? Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I kind of... How many years was that? You, did, wait, you said you, you said you had another one that came in and you were gonna How test it. Man, I think that's been like <laughs> two, three years, at least three years. Oh my God. All, all this old Macintosh uh, vintage stuff getting fixed, I love it. Never know what you're gonna see in here. <laughs> you, you you've outgrown the space like ten years ago. <laughs> so that is the repair area, guys. Bobby, do you, do you ship anything? If somebody calls and wants something, do you guys ship? If they buy it, no shipping. All right, guys, it's all local. But, uh, but I wanted to show you my hangout, how I, you know, started learning, you know, through Bobby on all kinds of different equipment and being able to get secondhand stuff and work my way up and, and to the new stuff that I have now. But uh, now you know where I hang out and talk to the old audio files. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the review on the uh, select speaker cables very soon, but I wanted to Actually, I'll probably post those first. I'll post that review before I post this one because I'm going to have my, my, my son in college uh, edit this. He does video production. But uh, center channels we got over here. Ah, oh, remember MB Court, guys? I had MB Court in my car, in my Volkswagen GTI growing up. 
Okay guys, so thanks for coming with me on the tour and getting to take a look at the old vintage stuff in Las Vegas. And I will catch you guys on the next video.